Um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tony, um, the middle brother of uh, Dad's three sons. And clearly, Mum, we're going to be talking about the same bloke because a lot of your sentiments are the same as mine. Um, Monday, I was back in Gisborne writing my speech and got to the end of it. We did a few drafts, as you do, and made a few corrections. When I got to the end of it, a verse came to mind, which is uh, from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and I'll just share it with you. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but reduces Jesus rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Sounds like someone I know well, my dad. <clears throat> Thank you all for such a rendition of how great thou art. It's a beautiful hymn of praise. And I'm sure Dad joined in from heaven. Thank you, Pastor Chris, and to my wonderful aunties. What lovely words of truth. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge my brothers, Stephen and Paul. for all their efforts on behalf of mum and dad. Stephen and Paul, you've both been a great help and support to us all, over the, especially over the past 15 years of dad's illness. Every one of us in this room has a connection to or an experience of my dad. Every one of us has a father. Myself and my siblings were so fortunate to live under the fatherhood of John Stalin. I thank God he is our dad. Now, you, you wouldn't accuse dad of being chatty. He would listen and listen and listen and then speak reasoned rationale or his opinion. After a long time, I learnt when speaking with Dad to listen, listen, listen. Dad's uh, fatherhood style was to lead his family by example. Over the past few days, I've uh, been thinking and produced a few, or remembered a few, if you would, a sprinkling of good examples. I'll start with uh, one that's uh, a bit aged. Some 25 years ago, I was approached by an older businessman in Gisborne, who after confirming that I was Eddie Stalin's grandson, said to me, well, young man, if you become half the man your grandfather is, you will be a very good man. Dad obviously had some good examples to work from. Dad was naturally respectful and humble. He treated everyone as his equal. Dad understood the joy of treats, lollipops, I think this is right, Macintosh toffees, Fanta and lemonade, and ice cream when we went to the family gatherings. 
Dad was commercially adept. Arriving from Samoa at 18, he settled down to hard work. Ended up with the house, the batch and the boat. Others rely on Lotto, not Dad. He invested in shares only after analysing companies and was smart enough to uh, cash out before the 87 crash. Dad provided us with the best education he could afford. I am ever mindful that he worked three jobs to support his family and later shift work to put his sons through a good school. Dad honoured and loved his parents. I remember him saying when I was quite young, he said, I'll still be asking my father questions when I'm 40. Dad was generous with his time and mechanical skills. I can remember our front lawn being full, filled up with sick cars and eager students, including my brother Paul, uh, mainly my mates actually. Um, Dad respected himself. He was fastidiously clean and always well-groomed. Dad believed in God and was fortunate to be raised under the Seventh-day Adventist covering. Just this Saturday night, gone, um, Mum was recalling how Dad would pray quietly and privately. My own experience was that during his uh, time of identifying his illness as Alzheimer's, he had, he had the habit of napping in his room. We were talking one day and clearly there was something on his mind. He said to me, Son, will you pray with me? Notice he asked me to pray with him, he believed. To clarify his request, I asked, Dad, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your saviour? Dad replied, yes. Sitting on the side of the bed, we prayed. And I can tell you it was fantastic. In this way, I have no doubt that Dad is in heaven with God. and with his granddaughter. <sighs> That's just a few of the examples. Uh, we have enjoyed a, a menu of good examples from Dad. Those examples we have chose to accept and repeat have produced to use one of Dad's favourite adjectives, marvellous results. I see that Dad chose examples from Papa. <coughs> I know that I chose examples from Dad and I see that my children, Reuben, Elise and Hannah, being the third generation to choose from and to carry forward the true legacy of good examples. In closing, I'd like to suggest that our grief for Dad be like sun showers. A little bit of rain and a lot of sunshine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.